What's going on YouTube? So today, I'm going to be talking about the ACANs in my tank. Yeah, I know there, there's different names for them now. Uh, that are no longer considered ACANs, you know, Micromusa Lords, whatever, Micro Lords, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to be calling them ACANs because that's what they were called when I first started the hobby. And that's what I'm going to call them until uh, I'm dead and done with this hobby. So, ACANs are definitely my favorite. I've always loved them. I've always had great success with them. And, um, you know, it's time to find a home for these guys, permanently glue them to the rocks, and uh, call it a day with them and just let them grow out and let them color up. Look, look, hold on a second. Come on. Oh, look who joins. Look who joins the party. It's Wappy Wappy. Look, Wops. She's like, can I eat them? No, those are daddy's A cans. You can't eat them. No. All right, go on. Get out of here. I'm just kidding. Come on. Come on back. Get out of here, go, girl. Now get out. Get out of here. Anyway, back to the business here. A cans. Let's take a closer look at how they're doing and where they're going to be going. All right. Let's get to these A cans. Over here on the bottom right, the front part of the tank, I have these two glued to the rock. I like where they're at, and they like where they're at. And actually, right here, I'm going to glue another one. These two Zoas, they're going to have a new house. But right here, I'm going to put another A can. Give those some time, let them spread out. This rock is probably about 10 inches in, uh, in length, side to side. So it'll take a while for them to cover up, but man, how awesome would that look? Then, as we go over to the left, this is the, almost the center of the tank. These two have been glued for quite some time now. They really enjoy it. Um, they're growing. They're eating. They're getting a good amount of light. And then over here are these two rainbows. These two I actually have glued to rock, rubble. Um, I want to keep them on rubble right now because I want these guys to kind of spread out a little bit more. and. I'm not ready to put them in a permanent place. So when I'm ready, I can just glue the little pieces of rock to the actual rock structure itself. Now, down here, you can see this um, little itty bitty baby frag. This is on a, I think this is an inch and a quarter disc, inch and a half disc, so you can see how small it is, but let me see if I can zoom in there. Look at the colors on that. They didn't have any pink or green on them when I got them. They actually reminded me of a candy cane. And since feeding it my Mysis and Reefroids diet and giving it plenty of T5 light, this is what they've turned into. So, you know, I used to always say that I have good luck with A cans, but I think I have good success. I've been keeping A cans for about two years now and. Um, I've just, I've always loved them, always loved them. And then over here is the last little trio. The top two are glued in their positions. This one down here, I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet. It's, it's pretty big. That's actually a two by two square that it's sitting on. So it's got a lot of size. This is a really fast grower, this one. I got this one at Reef of Palooza three months ago, two and a half months ago, and it only had three heads at the top. And you can see by the bottom that's just completely surrounded with new babies that are about the size of a peanut M&M. So those guys are good and squishy. So that's it. So let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, eight cans. And I love every single one of them. Am I going to get more? Most likely. I don't know if you guys saw my little uh, entry video I did for Reef Dudes, but you know, 
there's one thing about acans is, is I love to feed them and I love to just watch them grow. I consider them super fast growers. And um, wait, let's check something out real quick. Look at this tail spotted blend eating the Duncan poop. What is he doing? Come on, dude. Whatever. Clean him up. Clean him up. Those Duncans are always wide open and happy. So I don't know what he's doing, but I'm just going to let him do his thing. So it's a little blurry in here right now. It's a little, tank's a little fuzzy. I just did a little uh, glass cleaning. And, um, you know, when I do the bottom of the glass, it hits the sand, it makes a little bit of a funk. So, but all the fish are doing good real quick. They're starting to get more and more used to me being in front of the tank. Like this guy. He loves it. He will come right to you. Same with the scooter. He just freaks out. This guy's chilling. Everybody's doing good. The best part of the tank right now that's doing the most good, or the, 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 the wellest, or the best, or the, the goodest, are the acans. So, like I said, once a week I feed them mysis, and then towards the end of the week I usually give them raphroids. I am going to be trying out a new product from a uh, from a aquarium care center. I'm actually going to leave the link in this video to a link to uh, Roscoe's Reef with Scott to the video where he uses the coral candy and it might be something I might start trying so we will see what the results are because I've had such great success using the Reefroids and Mice's combination over the past two years I really, really, really want to see what happens when I start using the coral candy. I don't know if I'm going to be using mices as well with it. I'm going to give the uh, owner, John, a call and ask him his recommendation because it is his product. But if you guys uh, look at the video, Scott's Coral, love it. Speaking of Scott, hey Scott, don't be jealous of that purple Monty right there in the middle of the screen. Yeah, be jealous, look at that purple, woo! So, time to feed the fish. Thanks for watching. Me and the A-cans, gotta get ready for bed. See you guys.